Alright, uh, supposedly gonna get a car part installed sometime. Maybe not today, hopefully tomorrow. Alright, tomorrow I'm gonna have a guy come down. He's gonna install a car port for me. So here's the before. We will see the after in a few days. I went ahead and uh, dug up a little hole right there and then we're gonna concrete it down. We're gonna bury about 20 inches down or so. These are 12 footers and uh, over here too. It's gonna bury it down there and then the other leg in the back we're gonna bury it back here and then I'm gonna concrete over this uh, this little strip of grass here left and uh, measurement came out to be 25 by 22 roughly so uh, I guess uh, let's let's see oh one last thing over here I'm gonna box in this area to make it all wood fence like this continue on all the way up to here so in a way it will be like a um, <laughs> like a garage in a way so it'll be some privacy for my car after I parked in um, gonna relocate the outlet and add light so I can charge easier so because right now is I will have to back in normally here and then I can charge that way I can just charge over there I would go all the way back, but then I can't get out. massive now I think about it it's a 12 foot pole and they bury down two feet so I roughly have 10 feet it's gonna go from the uh, roof to slope down a little bit uh, so I'm gonna let the concrete uh, set tomorrow come back they're gonna do the skeleton of the framing on top of the roof and then that's pretty much it should be a two days job Alright, it's coming together. They got the frame in. Alright, um, because of my driveway, he's saying the slope is down this way too much. So now um, the water's gonna come this way. So he actually had to drop it a little bit again and readjust it again. So they're undoing this side, drop it down a little bit, and then go this, drop it down a little bit. It's still over eight feet of height though. But they're gonna try to work through the rain. It's real bad for these guys. <laughs> Alright, my carport is done. Let me show you guys. Oh, look at that. I plan to add light down there and then relocate the charging port. But now it's in the shade. Da, da, da. <laughs> I still need to clean up that mess right there. Maybe some LED light up here. But the outlet, I'm on the left side over here, so the outlet, I need to think of how to put it and just pull it down and charge it on this side over here. So it has to be somewhere like this. Oh, but it's too close to the edge. Either that, I'll put another post and then anchor the charging port there. So I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Oh, I'm planning to, uh, earlier in the video, I mentioned about this wood fence. That's the next project now. I'm gonna fence up this whole area. And so, um, it can be my, uh, my garage of some sort here. It's pretty high. It's about, it's a 12 foot pole down a little bit. So I have like nine foot of clearance roughly. Almost nine probably. 
over eight for sure. Uh, uh. Uh, it looks like it's starting to rain. It's time to uh, test out this carport. This is the end of the tour and this is how the car park look at night so i'm gonna add it light soon so check back to see uh, updates on that and also how i'm gonna see to relocate this charging outlet here so i can charge my car so right now lighting is it's not too bad uh i have a porch light up here that used to light up this whole area and i can see the neighbor's truck in the back but right now <laughs> it's pretty dark so another idea I have is um, in my other video, I use these uh, LED LED light strip here. Let me show you. You see, remember this? I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. But uh, I'm planning to use those LED uh, light up here so that, um, let me see. I'm planning to run it up here somehow and hide it in those channels, you see? Uh, well, let's see. Check back and see what I come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. At least my car is in the shade now. <laughs>